was also an interview in which a top advisor, it might have been Cantor, I'm not sure, uh, discussing that his view that, that, that in terms of the haters, the Hillary haters, quote unquote, mm -hmm. that that was primarily men and that his observation was that it was primarily men and that women gave her, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm saying it backwards, that it was primarily women who oh. were Hillary haters uh, because of their reaction to, this is from someone else, she appeared something of an affront, no, this is the quote, she appeared to be something of an affront to their sense of who they were, to women. Right. Uh, more women despise Hillary Clinton than men, ironically, because so many of them, she appears to be a commentary on the life they've chosen. That was Roy Neal, the Deputy oh. White House Chief of Staff. Right. But that jumped out at me because the, I think that um, there's certainly no, sh among Hillary haters now, one I think would say that that appears to be more of a male phenomenon, though there's a thread of this, yeah. uh, of this female issue. But, but yeah, I mean, did, does that sound, um, were there other echoes of that sort of an observation? Well, I, every, almost every interview we did, the question was, how do we explain the extraordinary level of vitriol that was uh, evident uh, about the Clintons as early as his time as governor, which I think um, really was uh, in, in many ways uh, unique in the American experience. And I don't know that we ever firmly got an answer to that question, or one that, uh, that I felt was uh, dispositive of, of the matter. Uh, there's plenty of commentary in the book about that. We, you know, we, we, we tried to get people on the record. What, what is it that, that accounts uh, for this? It's this odd stew of criticism of Bill Clinton from the extreme right as well as the, ex the extreme left. There were people who were furious with him over the Lewinsky scandal because of what it meant for women. Um, and also more traditional things like welfare reform. I mean, there's still great criticism oh. among, uh, among Democrats on the left. Boy, that's, that, uh, welfare reform is a, terrific, uh, is, is a terrific example of this. Uh, when, when we asked Leon Panetta about the roster of accomplishments uh, that Clinton had, uh, uh, had um, succeeded in bringing to fruition, he, you know, he goes through an array of things but doesn't mention welfare reform because he was against it. And, and uh, Roger Altman, again, the Deputy Treasury Secretary, said, you know, if, if you were to interview the top 50 people in the Clinton administration, 25 of them would tell you that welfare reform was the greatest thing Bill Clinton ever did, and 25 of them would tell you that it was the worst thing that Bill Clinton ever did. It, it was um, an issue that really uh, uh, created fissures within uh, uh, the Clinton networks. And by doing that, I think it's sort of testament to the difficult political environment that he was serving in. That, um, uh, and, and also is, is part and parcel of why there are still controversies arising both over the presidency as well as the person who's emerging now and running as a candidate in her own right.